Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just three months and change away from its official release by Disney, Lucasfilm, J.J. Abrams, and crew that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's truly exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to be a revelation film with many different twists and turns and revelations in the mix that's really going to change our perception of the past eight Star Wars films that come before this one. Now, J.J. Abrams plans to really evolve the characters of Rey and Kylo Ren from start to finish of this movie and to provide them as different characters in comparison to how they were used in the past two films. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this movie, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that both Rey and Kylo Ren are said to be holding hands as they walk through a very dark environment that is said to be very similar and familiar to the worlds between worlds. It's explained that they are in a flow walking session where they begin to see visions of the past as well as characters from the past eight Star Wars films. One of which is said to involve a sequence where Rey and Kylo Ren begin to hear a dialogue of Padme and Anakin Skywalker where Kylo Ren is said to witness a vision of Anakin and Padme hugging from episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. Now, during the scene, it said that John Williams' revised track of Across the Stars is said to play where another vision that Kylo Ren and Rey witness is said to be the very moment Padme and Anakin are on Tatooine from Episode 2, before it transitions to visions where they begin to witness the battle between Luke and Vader, as well as Rey and Kylo witnessing their own battle on Starkiller Base from Episode 7. It's said to show them key moments from the Skywalker saga that teaches them about the past in order to better understand their path for the future. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now what's so exciting about Episode 9 is that JJ is adding in different mediums to the franchise that fans have never witnessed before in the Skywalker saga and that's exactly what he's doing here. So, flow walking, in case you are unfamiliar with what flow walking really is, it's essentially time travel, where we got something very similar to this in the Worlds Between Worlds episode for Star Wars Rebels, but it was actually different in a way, but it was pretty much and overall the same exact thing to a certain level. Now, what I like about this, though, in particular, is that it brings them to see certain visions, certain moments of the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy, one of which has all to do with Anakin, Skywalker, and Padme, and as all this unfolds, it said that a revised track of Across the Stars begins to actually play over the shots and the sequences. So, this obviously is where John Williams' revised track of Across the Stars most likely comes into play, at least for the first, second, or third time in the movie, and it really does make a lot of sense to do that in order to make it feel very nostalgic for the fans, right? Now, in case you guys did not know, John Williams' brother, I believe he's called Dom Williams, said that every single track in the Skywalker saga, every piece of music, is, going to be, is actually going to be in The Rise of Skywalker, which really is a big deal. That tells us, of course, that this has to do with the flow walking sessions, most likely, and other aspects of the Force that will be applied in Episode 9. So, the other thing on top of all of this is that Episode 9 is also said to introduce Force Bonds that are going to evolve as both Rey and Kylo Ren go on their own adventures from, of course, the beginning to the end of this movie. Now, a part of the evolution of the Force Bonds, that's exactly how the flow walking starts to begin, not just with the devices that they find and the artifacts that actually use that as a supplement, but they also use the Force primarily in order to use the flow walking technique. Now, in Legends, flow walking was a big deal for Jason Solo. It allowed him to see certain truths of the past, as well as other aspects of the Force. And I think the fact that they are bringing this into fruition here is a very good thing. Now, the other th the other sequence that they do actually witness is the battle between Luke Skywalker and Vader. Now, this most likely alludes to the battle between Luke and Vader on Coruscant that we have been talking about for a very long time now. And what I like so much about Episode Nine as well is how they really are paying a lot of attention to the past eight Star Wars movies that's primarily going to be used in order to benefit Rey and Kylo Ren. And that's the important part about this movie. Everything needs to make sense. You can't just throw things in there just for the sake of it because of nostalgia or to gain the fans' interest. It has to make sense to the story and to the new characters such as Rey and Kylo Ren, right? So the last piece that I just want to go over here is that 
The flow walking really seems like it's going to be a very complex scene for Rey and Kylo Ren to understand, especially when they see themselves fighting each other on Starkiller base from roughly one year ago, their time, where they actually are able to witness themselves fighting on Starkiller from The Force Awakens, I think is rather poetic because they're able to see where they actually were and where they are, where they are now and where they are possibly going in the future. So on top of all this guys, let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.